Hello everyone, I'm Chris, and this is the second video in the series that I'm doing with the adjust -the joint fittings. This project is for those hot days to keep the sun off your head while you're mowing the grass. In today's project, I'm going to show you how to use some adjust -the joint fittings to make a shade canopy for your lawnmower or tractor. This would even work well on a kayak or a lawn chair or at a rondeck chair or something like that. First thing to measure the back of the tractor. This will give me the measurement for all the horizontal lengths. After I cut all the horizontal lengths, I can start to get an estimate for the length of the top. Here's a mock-up of the top. Now, I'm going to cut some additional small pieces to make a visor on the front of this. And you'll see that. Now everything is cut to length. And I'm going to assemble the whole thing and get it ready to stretch the canvas or cloth over the top. But before I do that, I want to make sure that all my measurements fit the way I want it to. Adjust the joint elbow set. They're three way, and it's a better choice for this project. I had them, and I didn't realize I had the left and the right. Be sure you get a left and a right when you purchase them, but you definitely want to use those elbows that are three way. It'll be a better project. The ends won't twist on you, and you won't need to screw and glue them. I have the whole top assembled and I'm mocking up the piece that connects to the vertical piece. You'll notice that I'm putting the adjust the joint fitting with the button facing in, but later I'm going to reverse that, put them on the outside. That way I can press the buttons easily. It's a little bit harder to press the buttons while they're on the inside. Here I'm using some inch and a half pipe and tees. This will be the vertical riser off the back. And this is cut to the same length or width as the top. At this point I'm just going to use some handheld screws to screw straight through the cloth into the PVC. And I'm going to take some other PVC pipe and I'm going to split it and use that to make like a plate to screw down over the top of the cloth. That's going to make it stronger and allow me to stretch it a little tighter and a little more evenly. I cut a lot of little sections and just about everywhere I put a screw, I went ahead and I put a piece of that and I screwed through it. It seemed to work really well. Just a few more screws across the top, and that will hold all the cloth down. Well, now it looks very tight, and I think it looks really good. So I just mocked up uh, on a chair, so you can see what it looks like. Now I took some scrap pieces of wood, they're walnut, and I'm going to drill some holes in them. Just pilot holes for screws, and I'm going to put some velcro on these and glue, and you'll see me put them on here in a second. So I'm just going to fold the cloth up to make it a little thicker, and I can make it stronger that way. And I'm going to put some glue on the velcro. And once I put that on there, I'll try to hit the hole that I made with the screw and tighten that down. And I'm going to also trim off that bottom piece that's left over.
So now I'll just take the other piece of Velcro for the other side. I'll drill through the inch and a half T with a pilot hole. And then I'll put some glue on the back of that. And then I'm going to attach it to my first screw. After I get my first screw started and screwed in, I'm going to drill another hole below that. Put a second screw in. The screws will hold the Velcro and especially till it dries, but maybe give it a little more strength in addition to the glue. Well, thanks for staying to the end. And I hope you like this project, and I hope I also inspired you to build something. I like the fact that this project only took a minimal amount of tools. A PVC pipe cutter, a cordless drill, and a tape measure is about all you need. If you saw the other video, I mentioned that there wasn't a left and a right, and there actually is a left and a right. Mine just didn't match in color, so I didn't notice that. But there are left and right fittings, so... Use those and purchase those for this project. It'll make the project even stronger, better, and more durable. One thing that would make this project a little better would be put more cross braces in the back than I did. And also I would make the visor part that I made, I would make that adjustable. It would protect you a little better from the sun. You could adjust it and keep the sun out of your eyes a little better. One last thing, share this on all your social media. I'll put some links to my social media in the description below. And if you have ideas for using these joints for a project, send me your ideas or post them in the comments. And if I like it, I'll send you some of the fittings to build it. All you have to do is send me pictures after it's complete and post them to your social media. Well, that's all, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, you see that? Subscribe. Just click on my face right there and you'll be subscribed and you'll see me next week or the week after. And check out one of these other videos over here or here.